Welcome back guys. Today's challenge is the super duper duplicate challenge. You guys have been recommending that I do a base with one single duplicate many many times for several months now and I'm finally gonna do it here today. So it is a multi-layered, multi-faceted challenge because just having one duplicate run around inside of a base would probably make for a pretty boring video or series of videos. So there's gonna be several different layers to this. First and foremost, Cole here, 778, says try using one duplicate for 35 days to see how far you can get. Also, now, so that's like one base layer. We'll just have one duplicate for 35 days. We'll see how far I can get there. Boom, simple. Dragon Xena also recommends that I try to kill off my other two duplicates within the first five cycles right there, which in itself isn't actually that hard. But here's the trick, to have 0% stress at the end of the fifth cycle. He also goes on to say, and the deadline, or more or less the end of his challenge right there would be to have everything researched and implemented into the base. So several different challenges right there. But here's the kicker to the entire challenge here. If I can make it 35 cycles, at the end of 35 or the beginning of 36 here, I'm gonna change Meep into Super Meep. And I'm gonna give him 1,000 attributes to everything here. So I'm gonna be using Cheat Engine to lock the down the address of these locations and if I can get there at the end of 35 Meep's gonna be the best duplicate ever all right so let's get to it all right so the first thing I gotta do is kill off some duplicates here so I think we'll just go ahead and start everybody off digging this will be easy enough I don't need all of this build a little outhouse that'll be nice go ahead and speed this stuff up real quick yeah there we go all right, so how to get rid of Lindsay and Bubbles. Hmm. I know how to do this. This will be easy. So Super Meep, you're not going to dig. Only Lindsay and Bubbles are going to dig. And here's what you're going to do. You're both going to dig in yourselves into a pit. That should be an easy way to get rid of a duplicate. There you go. Get on over there, Lindsay. Bubbles, hop on down. Hey, what are they doing? They're going away. All right, I got a better strategy. We'll make it dig like this. How about that? Make them dig a little ramp down there. And then Meep, you're the only one that can do construction. All right, fine, build a ladder over there then. Come on, get down there, get digging. Cancel that right there, that'll be fine. There we go. Now just deconstruct this ladder. Get rid of them. We don't need those weaklings around here. Lindsay, no, 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 move back down here. No! Bubbles! Get down here! There we go! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> you punk! Super Meep, get out of here! What are you doing? <sighs> this is like surprisingly difficult to get rid of these people. Meep, get out of here. There you go. Now build this. No! Meep, stop! Oh, come on! You can breathe later. Aha! What? You ran through the tile? What the heck, Super Meep? I didn't. I know you got superpowers, but come on now, that's just not right. All right, well, cycle one. <laughs> Surprisingly, I wasn't able to kill off my duplicates. You would think this was rocket science, wouldn't you? There we go. There, now they're imprisoned. Well, they're gonna be there for a little while, so they might as well go ahead and, you know, be useful and dig this stuff out. Okay, meanwhile, Meep, you can go ahead and clean all this stuff up because you know you're going to need to do that. Oh, yeah, there they go. Get wrecked. All right, so challenge. All right, so good. My challenge is partly completed at this point. We got Lindsay and Bubbles. They're dead. Now, Super Meep, though, this poor guy, he's going to be stressing out. He's in mourning and everything. Stress. Well, he's currently not very stressed out, actually. It's probably just because it's a new game. Okay, now you need to be able to do everything. All right, Super Meep, you're on your own. It's just you. Let's go ahead and set this up to be uh, auto-harvested as, as much as possible. There we go. So we're off. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Oh, speaking of which, I should really start tracking his abilities. All right, so I'm going to do my first scan here. Whoop. Let's see here. There's a lot of ones. And I think the bite was the right way to go last time. I'm not sure. I did this once before just to kind of test it out. Let's go ahead and make a little flower pot and a bed. That'll help with my stress levels. I want to make sure I'm at 0%. So 
So I want to make sure I go ahead and get that stuff built there. There we go. All right, so his skill is increased to two. So what I'm going to look for now is two. That's what I want to find. Just doing a lot of sweeping right now. And it looks like I can do these little... I can plant more bristles if I wanted to, to really increase that decor. That would actually be worthwhile doing. So I'm going to go ahead and build up the base here a little bit. Just add some nice platforms. Try to get the decor up as nice as I can to help for that stress level. That way I can get that... 0% stress at cycle 5, hopefully. Go ahead and add a little bit of these flower vases right next to this. I should have enough. I can uproot these little bristles down here. That should help me out. Easy early game decor. Plant that sucker up. I'm going to have to speed this game up a little bit. Watching one duplicate run around and do this stuff, while interesting, it's going to make for kind of a long... Long episode, man. All right, good. I'm leaving both Lindsay and Bubbles down here to decay and rot and turn into morbs. So that should be really useful at some point. I'll just have a bunch of morbs down here. I know. It's kind of cruel, but you got to do what you got to do to survive, right? All right, so we're ending cycle four here. I'm at 2% stress. It looks like that should go down pretty soon. 1%. I don't know if this was supposed to be at the beginning of Cycle 5 or at the end of Cycle 5. I'm going to go with at the end of Cycle 5. Looks like I'm in good shape, though, to have 0% stress. Just planting these little flower vases is the right way to go. Also making sure to sweep all this stuff up. That's another thing you want to do. Because if you look at the decor, having, like, these little blobs of stuff laying around. See, look at that, this negative decor just sitting there. It's not what you want. So debris is negative 20 right there. I've got plenty of oxygen right now because I got all this oxalite just around. So that's working great. Looks like this game is not totaling up the amount of oxygen you have right here. Maybe that's one of the things they did to increase the performance. Or maybe maybe I'm just missing it. Looks like I got a ton of copper down here. That'll be really useful. One of the other things I'm going to try to do here as I get further on here, hopefully I'll have a super duper duplicate by the time I get to cycle uh, 36 here and then give them superpowers. And then I'm going to try to build a base that can support 50 duplicates all by itself by cycle 100. All right, so here we are at the end of cycle 5 and I'm at 0% stress. There you have it, dragon. I accomplished your challenge. Or at least the first part of your challenge right there. All right, so I'm going to let Meep do a lot of sweeping here. Hopefully his athletic ability will increase and I can hopefully track that down inside a cheat engine. Having some problems with it right now. I'm going to speed the game up a little bit more. There we go. There we go. A little chamber for the polluted dirt over there. That'll be just fine. Do a little bit of digging down here. Now, Meep is not super fast at this point. It's just the game running quite a bit faster. Alright, so I've got Meep doing lots and lots of digging right now. Just so I can hopefully track that stuff. It is kind of a hard thing to track down with Cheat Engine here. I'm not a real pro at that. Alright, so I think I was able to track down Meep's digging ability here. Let's go ahead and just test this out to see if this this is working. It take it took 13 cycles to get this far, so let me just So let me see what happens if I change this value to 10. Let's see if that happens, huh? So yeah, there we go. Now Meep's ability was 10 right there. So I'm going to change that back to 5 where it was beforehand. And we'll go from there. So that's working. Okay, cool. So now when I unpause this game, and we look at Meep's stats, it's now back to 5. Awesome. So I can give Meep superpowers. It's good to know. So now I'm going to focus on capturing athletics here. So I'm just going to... Tell Meep to do lots and lots of sweeping. So he'll just go and he'll start cleaning up things around here. Should also lower his stress level as well because the decor is going to get better. And he's not going to be in all these areas where he's trying to hold his breath too. I'll tell you what, you can survive a long time with just one duplicate right there. Still sweeping. <laughs> this takes a while. One duplicate is kind of a slow way to play this game. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finally build a little power station here after 18 cycles just so I can lower his stress down a little bit. So I'll have a massage table down here. I'll set that to 45 and 20. That seems like a decent number. 
all these cycles later and I am still sweeping. This is, this is crazy. On a different note, I've got a ton of morbs over here, so that's good. That'll be useful one day. I don't think I could do it. I could just put them on the manual generator and that would generate athletics as well. All the sweeping is lowering his stress level though, so that's good. Food's definitely not a problem. <laughs> With only one duplicate, I mean, it's not hard at all. So many cycles of just sweeping though, it's kind of annoying. All right, so after 24 cycles, I finally have my athletics targeted. So I can give him super abilities on that. So that's digging and athletics at cycle 35. Now for some research. This is the most, this is about as riveting as the game gets right here. Ooh, learning went up to another level. There we go, I can put one of these little algae guys over here. That'll get rid of some of this carbon dioxide. Okay, so I need some more research because I'm trying to narrow in on learning here. So we'll go to interior decor. Let's start that up. And it looks like the address here is 6CA. So if I take this and I change its value to let's say 10, I might be able to zero in on this. I'm figuring it out. Yeah, there it is. So I'll change that back to three and there we have it. All right, well, I've made it to cycle 35. It is really not hard to survive to cycle 35 with just one duplicate. It's kind of a little bit of a boring experience though. I will give it that. In general, it's not hard to survive like this. All, all I'm doing is, you know, harvesting plants that are naturally growing around. So that gives me plenty of food. Plus the fact that I haven't gotten through my, my rations. I'm just filling up this box with stuff. Look at it. We got meal lice, that stuff's gonna go stale eventually. Muck roots, field rations, I haven't even tapped into that. So, there's more than enough food to keep Super Meep alive. Most of it's just gonna go bad, actually. All right, well, Super Meep here has survived well past 35 days right there. So that, was, that wasn't too bad. But I think it's now to the point where we wanna go ahead and reward Super Meep with superpowers. Let's say he ate some really good meal wood and suddenly his athletic ability went through the roof. So you can see his abilities right here. Let's go ahead and just mess around with this a little bit. So we'll give him 500 athletic ability. Boosh, just like that. So if you look at his athletics right there, he's got some light wounds, which is negative three, but his skill level is plus 500. So that is nearly 5,000% movement speed. So once he goes ahead to move, so right now I just have the game running at normal speed, so slow. We'll see just how fast he moves once he gets off this manual generator. Boom! <laughs> He's flying! Look at how fast he moves. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go ahead and give him some research to do, huh? We'll do the same thing. Gas pipe. Alright, so Meep's got a little bit of research to do. And as you can see, it's going kind of slow. Suddenly he gained a lot of intelligence. All the way up to level 500. Just like that. Let's see how fast this research goes now. Look at that. Boom. Five of it is already done. <laughs> it's instant. Instant research. Boom. Four. We're already up to 14. Just like that. <laughs> That's awesome. You can see now Meep's been tasked with the requirement to build more of these blank canvases. So let's go ahead and get those started. It might take them a little while. All right, so here we have it. Super Meep is doing a little bit of construction. Let's see what happens once we crank this up. Let's just go to 100 this time. Let's see how much faster it goes. Look at that. Boom. I mean, you can see at level 100 just how fast that construction is. Let's see what happens when I take that up to 500. So here we are. This is 500. And I go ahead and make that a nice high priority on these. There we go. Deliver it. Boom. It's like instantly building stuff. <laughs> let's take a look at digging though. How fast can you dig? All right. So let's see what happens when you change digging from level five to 100. Let's say it might be possible to get a duplicate up to level 100. It would take a ridiculously long amount of time. Maybe 50 is a better number. Let me go ahead and just 
see what digging level 50 looks like. You had a duplicate, it's been around for like 100 cycles, all they've done is dig. What does that look like? All right, so that is a level 50 digger right there. That's pretty quick. Let's take that up to 100. Level 100 digger <laughs> just instantly zaps things. I don't even think we'll see a difference if we go up to 500. Maybe on some of the harder materials though. Zap, it's gone. All right, so let's speed this game back up to where it was before. Now we can get a lot of stuff done. <laughs> it's so fast, Meep just teleports around. Okay, so just because we're at that point right now, let's go ahead and just knock out all of this research because I can. I think it really shouldn't take a long time. There we go, got one done. How many of these can I get done in a cycle? There we go, that one's done. Temperature modulation. I think I can get all this research done in one cycle. No, it's not gonna be possible. Cash got that done. One more chunk of research and then I'll be done. So at this point, I've got one ridiculous duplicate. <laughs> I mean, the guy's just absolutely amazing. Super Meep is truly super. So at this point, I wanna change my focus towards cycle 100 when I'm gonna in, uh, bring a lot more duplicates into this base to see what that'll end up like. I've researched everything now, so that was, honestly, it didn't take very long at all once I got the superpowers. <laughs> this is crazy. What? Man, look at him, he's just going nuts. Look at this. That is really cool to watch. <laughs> Nothing but crude paintings. You're terrible at art, Meep. All right, let me get your ability up here. Level 500 on the art scale. You're now a super artist, Meep. Look, look at how fast it goes. Nothing but masterpieces. That's as high as you can get, though. The one job that Meep can't do is repair anything, and he's destructive, so <laughs> that's kind of a problem. He's also a terrible cook, so let me go ahead and see if I can... Get some food to cook. Put up a little micro musher there. Here, you can have all your jobs back. Look at that sweep in action. Look at it go! Whoop! He's gone. Ah, uh, meep! You're stuck! Oh no! Oh no! Meep got stuck in concrete! How did that happen? No! And he can't deconstruct himself. So that's how you die. <laughs> oh, despite having super abilities, I can't do anything about it. He's entombed. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, so you're gonna die of starvation, Super Meep. Oh man. Well, I guess you could say I officially lost the game right here. That was it. However, I can save him. There you go, Meep. You've been saved. We didn't want the, I didn't want the series to end right there. Not like that. But it is possible to die. Just like so. <laughs> Entombed. Even Super Meep takes a long time to clean an outhouse. Some things never change. I'll tell you what, I'm spending all this time trying to find this one value in order to get the tinkering level up. And then I'm really not building the rest of this base. Might have to kind of delay some of my goals as far as bringing in 25 duplicates. I mean, I could use a different generator down here, like a coal generator or something. But this is the only way I know of to level up tinkering right now. So, trying to find it. All right, there we go. I finally found it, tinkering, level 500. Plus a little extra. All right, so I'm gonna continuously make medicine now. I think that's kind of a, is that a new stat? Medicine? I don't know. I don't seem to be leveling up medicine this way. It just seems like that's disease resistance. I've made a lot. I'll tell you what, I think it'll be really hard to build a lot of stuff here by cycle 100. <laughs> At least enough for 50 duplicates. That's a tall order. <laughs> we'll see though. I'll give it a shot. Nothing else, I'm gonna save the game right here. Oh no, everything's flooding. That's not good. Now let's go ahead and deconstruct that, let the water flow down. That'll be fine. 
Oh my gosh, all this mopping is going to suck up so much time. Alright, so i got to mop it from the top. If I'm going to clean this up. Man, that is a time killer. Look at that. Alright, so I'm trying to make all the different cots for all of these duplicates that are going to show up here. So I think I've got a decent plan of how I'm going to do this. I'm just going to have blank canvases that are going to provide some decor. They're not It's not a very tall cell. I'm not doing five tall because I'm going to have so many duplicates in this base. So this is what I'm doing. Make sure to have some spots where the air can get through, just like so. Then I'll put little doors between things. It'll be good. And for the more picky duplicates, I'll put them up here on top. They'll have a little bit more space and some nicer stuff. Try to plan it out that way, right? So the ones that are real picky about where they're living, they'll be up here. Noisy duplicates, I'll try to group together if possible. You know, just handle it that way. Gosh, I got more liquid flowing around. That's not good. Not that I like to waste clean water, but it's causing Mapier to become stressed and then he spent some time on the massage table. That was an entire cycle just trying to mop up this little bit. It's killing me. Although, look what I got up here. I got a steam geyser. Sweet. Oh, look at down here. I got a natural gas geyser. Awesome. I didn't even notice that down there. I got power and water. Look at him go. He's got so much work to do if we're going to get this done by cycle 100. I don't even have, like, a proper... I don't even have toilets. We just have an outhouse. Oh, man, this is going to be terrible. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to cut the video right here. I've been at it for about three hours now, so I want to make sure I upload this thing without it becoming too much of a beast. But thank you guys for watching, and thank you guys for the idea as far as the challenge has gone right there. I like to read those comments, so if you got some recommendations, you can go ahead and leave them down there in the comment section below. And, you know, maybe it'll become a video some point here. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this challenge, though, for the next video or so, just to kind of see what it would take to get 100 or 50 duplicates in here. And then maybe potentially 100 after that. As you can see, I'm trying to set up for that right now. So thank you guys for watching. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. And by the way, thank you guys for all of your support recently. It's been absolutely awesome. If I've earned your subscription, then thank you so much for that. Stay awesome. Peace. Brotgar out.